Hi everybody, I'm Chef Martin Earl, the culinary editor here at ThermoWorks, and I'm here to talk to you about gifts. We've got some great gift giving options here. Maybe you've already started shopping for gifts for the holidays, maybe you haven't, but regardless, we have some things that are great for your loved ones, so stay tuned and we'll uh, talk about what those are. Food is really central to our lives, you know? It's always there, but sometimes it's ignored, sometimes it's forgotten, sometimes it's overlooked or taken for granted. People just eat to survive, they eat to keep moving. But for some people, food is a love. Some people love food and it is the fulcrum around which all the events in their lives turn. The light ones and the heavy ones. Vacations are measured in meals. Uh, birthdays are measured in cakes. Rejections and failures are measured in emotional gluts. So for people like me and people like people who you know, I'm sure, who are makers and eaters of food, who are lovers of food, and if you love food, you're going to learn how to make it. It's just, it's a natural circumstance, a natural byproduct of that love. Uh, if you give that person a tool that increases the quality of their food, then by almost a mathematical identity, you're increasing the quality of their life. Uh, so the idea that might scare some people is spending $99 on a thermometer, but what you get out of that is not just something for the holiday, you get a deep and a lasting impact of joyfulness in that person's life. So I'll bear that in mind as we talk about some of these things. Also, if you have somebody who likes to cook, but maybe they don't have the best tools, uh, the knowledge that they can get from understanding how uh, temperature actually moves through their food, uh, it can be a revelation and they'll really enjoy that. So today for the gifts, we're going to uh, talk about a lot of things. We'll be talking about a lot of these things twice or even more, but that's because these are really flexible tools with a wide range of applications that are just really, really useful in the kitchen. So if you have a loved one who likes to cook, they're going to want one of these tools. And these are better than any other gadgets you can get uh, anyways. So we'll be talking about things for uh, barbecuers, grillers, uh, home chefs, candy makers, brewers, bakers, and people who are into modernist cuisine and just who are generally gadget geeks. Uh, so we'll be covering things for each of those niches. So first we're going to talk about barbecuers. Uh, if you have a barbecuer friend or loved one, uh, chances are they already know about us and they already have one of our things on their gift list. So you'll be doing them a big favor uh, uh, by, by getting them a Thermalworks tool. Our tools are designed, many of them, for professional and competition barbecuers. They can withstand the elements, they can withstand the temperatures, they have the kind of accuracy needed. If you have somebody who's really interested in this, then we have a tool for them. All right, so first let's talk about the Signals. Signals is a one, two, three, four channel barbecue thermometer. It's great. Uh, it ships with three penetration probes and one air probe so you can keep track of a brisket, a pork shoulder, and a rack of ribs all at the same time and get those temperatures exactly right. Um, it's rugged, it's waterproof, it's not waterproof, it's water resistant to IP66, which is seriously water resistant. We had one of these out in the rain the other day while we were doing a cook, no problem at all. Uh, it's got a nice rugged base, it'll stand up. It has physical buttons on it. A lot of our competitors' thermometers, you can only operate through their apps. So that means you have to get your phone out to touch it. Uh, if you've got greasy fingers or something to change it, that's just, your phone's gonna get messy. You can get this greasy, as greasy as you want. Anything you change on here will change on the app. Anything you change on the app will change on here. They communicate readily because this has Wi-Fi and Bluetooth native to it. Doesn't need any external devices to communicate like that. It just does it on its own. So this is, again, this is for the serious barbecuer. If you're just somebody who cooks a pork shoulder once every couple months during the summer and that's all the smoking you do, this might not be the thing for you, but if you're putting a lot of meat on the barbecue very often, this is the thing that you want. So bear that in mind, that's the signals. Next we have the smoke. Now, the smoke is, is much like the signals, it came first. It's a two channel alarm thermometer, which is great. Uh, you can still have one for the pit and one for your meat. So you can keep track of that. Again, we've got the physical buttons. Uh, these are really, really accurate. They're accurate to 1.8 degrees Fahrenheit, which is a great accuracy for barbecue. That's about as much as you need, really, a lot of the time. Uh, this is also uh, very water resistant. And what it, one thing it has that's really nice is it has this uh, receiver that comes with it. 
This is a radio frequency receiver. You don't have to plug anything into it. There's no joining with Bluetooth or anything like that. This just communicates up to 300 feet away, line of sight, no problem. So you can keep track of things while you're out walking around in your yard, maybe playing a little football or something like that. Comes with the receiver and you can get the optional gateway to go with it. This is a separate purchase. This will connect uh, this with uh, Wi-Fi and that will go oh, then through the cloud to your phone or smart device. You can keep an eye on your cook while you're at the grocery store picking up some supplies for the barbecue. It's really great. The Smoke is one of our favorite barbecue products. If you look at the barbecue forms and stuff like that, everybody loves the Smoke. It's a real winner. So bear that in mind. Uh, keep, keep, keep that on the list. So let's talk now about the Dot. The Dot is a really great barbecue thermometer. It's great for lots of things, but great for barbecuers. If you go to barbecue competition, you will see these everywhere in stacks. People will stack them up and they'll feed them all into, the, into, their, uh, into their competition smoker and they're really, really useful. There's two buttons. One lowers the alarm temperature, one raises the alarm temperature, and that's it. It shows you the temperature and the alarm temperature, and that's it, that, 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 that's all it does. It does it really, really well. And this is great for somebody who's just getting into barbecue or somebody who uh, is afraid or maybe doesn't understand how to use the apps really well or something like that. Maybe a technophobe, if you have a technophobe friend, this is a really good uh, thermometer for that person. Also great for anybody who just wants some ease and convenience and some accuracy. So that's a really nice thing to get for them. Now let's talk about the ThermaQ. The ThermaQ is a really hyper accurate uh, thermometer for barbecuing. Uh, all the ones that I've shown you so far are thermistor technology, and this is thermocouple technology. Those are accurate to 1.8 degrees Fahrenheit. This is accurate to 0 0.7 degrees Fahrenheit. It's really pretty simple to use. You can have, it's two channels, so you can track two things at once, either two meat items or the pit and a meat or something like that. Uh, this costs a little bit more because the technology is a little bit more advanced. Uh, but it's just a really, really good tool. We've got a lot of probes for this that you can get. People get really excited about this, if they, again, if they're really into barbecue. Kind of like the signals, if you're just a real casual barbecuer, this might not be the one for you, but if you're serious, the ThermaQ might be something you really want to consider. Now let's talk about the ThermaPen Mark IV. The ThermaPen Mark IV is one of the most important tools in any kitchen, but it's great for a barbecuer too. Uh, it's waterproof, it's shockproof, it can stand up to the rain, it can handle being accidentally dropped into a bucket or something like that. This is the tool that we recommend for everybody. We'll talk more about that later. But barbecuers need this too. All sorts of professional barbecuers have these. Competition barbecuers have these. Competition pitmasters use them all the time and they swear by them. It's super accurate, it's super fast, so you can get the results that you want uh, immediately. So that's the ThermaPen Mark IV. And finally, let's talk about trivets. Trivets are great. Come in lots of fun colors. You can use that to color code what you use them for if you want. If you want to keep a purple one only for pork and a, brown, a blue one for uh, beef, I guess you could do that. Um, they're great stocking stuffers. They're cheap as it goes and they're great for handling hot meat. You know, like if you need to move a brisket or turn it, you grab on with these and you can move it around. They're dishwasher safe. They can rinse right off like that. They're really, really useful. So those are, are great to get for a barbecue or two. So that's what we have for barbecuers. Those are some of the top tools we have for them. So let's move on to grillers. Uh, not everybody wants to go the whole hog route of barbecue. Barbecue takes a long time. It's not everybody's game, but there's a lot of people who still love that flamey flavor of food that you can get from cooking over fire. And those grill heads, they have, uh, we've got some tools for them. Now we don't recommend for them a lot of leave-in probe thermometers. So the smoke is not a great fit for them necessarily. The probes are rated to 700 degrees Fahrenheit, but um, if there's a flare up, those can be 1200 degrees. You can ruin your, your, your probes pretty quickly if you're grilling not very carefully. So we don't recommend those necessarily, but we still have some great tools for them. And again, like I said, we'll be talking about this. The ThermaPen is the one, is the one for the, 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 the griller. Um, if you're grilling over high heat and you're grilling a steak and you're shooting for medium rare, you've got about a five degree window. And if you stick a dial thermometer in there and you wait for that dial to come up, heat is going into that steak the whole time and it's cooking further. This has a two to three second read time. It's got a tiny little sensor in the front of it, right here in the tip, just right there. And so you can stick that into a steak and you can know the temperature right now. You can watch it track. 
you can keep track of it that way and you're going to get better results. You're going to get things cooked exactly the way you want that way. That doesn't happen with other thermometers. So we do really recommend that for uh, steak, for chicken, for chops, for anything. It is really, really important. Let's talk about the IRK2 thermometer then. Uh, the IRK2 is an infrared thermometer. People talk about these as laser thermometers. The lasers aren't really doing the work, they're just showing where the work is being done. So we, you can shine this onto a pan, uh, you can shine this onto the surface of a grill, put a, a, a cast iron disc or pan on the grill, and you can actually take the temperature of your grill. That can be really useful if you're doing grilled pizzas, or even if you're doing steaks or things like that. If you want to know how high, how hard a sear you're likely to get from it, knowing the surface temperature on the grill is really, really useful. And these are also just really fun for anybody to point at things and find out what temperature is. That wall, 70 degrees. That light, 72 degrees. It's really fun. So we do recommend that for the grillers. Um, uh, that's kind of what we have for them. Those are the best tools for, for, for your grill fiend. So let's move on to the home chef. Now the home chef, you know these people, these are the ones who buy cookbooks faster they can, than they can read them. Uh, they've got a whole bunch of them at home. They talk about the recipe that they're working on all the time. They talk about what they ate on the vacation all the time, whatever. Um, and they're the ones who, they make the same food as the people around them, but their food is just like better somehow. That's, that's the home chef that we're talking about. And what these people don't want is a unitasker from an as seen on TV commercial. They may look good on the infomercial. This is not, it's not what, what, what this person wants. So what do they want? Well, let's talk about that. Some things they might want going back to trivets. So these are great hot pads or rather they're, they're good for trivets. Protect your countertop. Uh, you don't have to worry about burning your countertop or anything you put it on. They're great hot pads if you're getting something out of the oven because they're impermeable to water. So you know how sometimes you get a hot pad a little bit wet and you burn your hand in the oven with it? That's not a problem with these. They're water impermeable. Uh, they're colorful. You can get them to, to go with your kitchen. So uh, after the trivets, we have uh, the chef alarm. This is the chef alarm. Now the chef alarm is loaded with features. It's really a workhorse in the kitchen. Um, it's got a high and low alarm, obviously, so you can tell when something has gotten to a temperature or if, some, or if you're keeping track of cooling when it's gone down to a temperature. It's got a min and max function, so you can tell where it's been. You walk away from the thermometer for a couple minutes, you come back and you can see how high it's gone or how low it's gone, see if there's been any spikes or, or valleys in it. Uh, this is, quite frankly, the best deep fry thermometer out there. Uh, regular deep fry thermometers, they're really not any good. They're hard to read. Uh, they, they, they're slow, they're inaccurate. Cook's Illustrated has actually called this their number one rated clip-on thermometer. They use it for deep frying all the time. It's a fantastic thing for that. Um, uh, takes the Pro Series probes. This is the one that it comes with. And uh, that's great because we also have many different probes that you can switch that out with. Uh, the, like here's, here's that one. We have the air probe, if that's what you need. We have other probes, probes abound. And that's great because you can customize what probe you use with what you're cooking. If you're doing a, a roast beef, you can use one probe. If you're using a, doing a Cornish game hen, you can use another probe. It's great for all of these things. So also uh, for cakes, you can actually take the temperature of a cake inside to find out if it's done. No more uh, sticky, uh, uh, sticky toothpick tests. So that's the chef alarm. That's a really great tool. Uh, now let's talk about this, the smoke. The smoke has its place indoors as well as outdoors. Just like the chef alarm, it uses the same probes, the same pro series probes. So there's dozens of probes to choose from. If you're doing two cooks at one time, maybe cooking a turkey and something else in the oven, or you're doing a turkey and proofing some rolls and you wanna keep track of both temperatures, this is what you can use. Maybe you have two ovens and you're cooking two things. The two channels is really useful. So that's something for people who are really into roasting in particular, that's a great tool for them. And of course we have the MK4, the Thermopen MK4. Um, something we always say uh, here at Thermoworks is that in the kitchen, uh, thermal knowledge is power. So the more you know about the temperature and what's going on inside your food, the more power you have to control the outcome on that. So uh, this gives you that information like nothing else does. 
It's uh, like again, uh, like I said, it's 0 0.7 degrees Fahrenheit accurate, two to three second readings. It's great for uh, checking the temperature on a roast to make sure it's okay, verifying the temperature on any poultry, because if you put a chef alarm probe in something but you don't put it in the right place, you might not get the right information. Uh, you can use this to check the water for poaching eggs, for anything like that. It's, it's really, really useful. So there's that. Uh, and then finally, timers. We have a number of great timers. This is the Time Stack. It's a four channel timer. Uh, it actually has recordable inputs. You can have it yell at you that the rolls are done or something like that. So that's really useful. It's uh, rugged and sturdy. The uh, extra big and loud is extra loud. It is a loud timer. You can put this on somewhere in the house and you'll hear it anywhere in the house when it goes off. And that's great, not just for cooking, but for all sorts of things where you have timers, uh, have a need for timers. And the uh, time stick, I love this one. You can wear it around your neck and you can carry your time with you. The buttons are, are hard enough to push, which is actually a good thing that they don't accidentally get bumped in your pocket or something like that if you put it in your pocket. The time stick, the time stack, the extra big and loud timer. Uh, if you're roasting nuts, if you're cooking pasta al dente or something like that, that's all about time and so you need a good timer or something you can hear when it goes off. These are the toys for you for that. All right, so those are the things that we really recommend for the home chef. Um, for, so let's move on to our next category, the candy maker. If you know somebody who's into candy making and they live in a world of chocolate and melted sugar and they're always working with these things, these esoteric temperatures and ingredients and things like that, you know somebody who is very involved with temperature. Whether they're making taffy or tempering chocolate or they're making almond toffee or anything like that, temperature is super important for candy makers. And the margins of error are very, very narrow. Uh, if you're moving from softball to firm ball stage or something like that, you only have about a five degree margin of error on there. And most candy thermometers, those metal ones with the wings, they look like a fin, those are only accurate to five degrees there's no error in there. So what you really want to get them is the best candy thermometer on the market, the Thermapen. Uh, like I said, accurate to 0 0.7 degrees Fahrenheit, and what that means is reproducibility. So you can stir the pot with this, you're not just gonna take the temperature in one place where it's sitting on the, on the bottom of the pot. You're gonna take the temperature all over the pot, you're gonna get a real accurate reading, and if you want your caramels just a little bit chewier, you can write down the temperature that you took it at and you can change that by a half a degree, by one degree, and you can write that down in your recipe. And when you cook your caramels exactly like that next time, they're going to be exactly the same. Good luck doing that with a glass thermometer with the alcohol in it, that just, it doesn't work. Another great thing for um, the candy maker is a silicon spatula. I know, I know it's not a thermometer, but it's still a really great tool because there's no nooks and crannies on these, and that means there's no places for seed crystals to hide. That means you can end up with cleaner, uh, cleaner candies that aren't gonna crystallize incorrectly. Come in a variety of colors. They're heat proof well beyond any candy temperature you ever need. They're really great. The cleanup on them is really easy and cleanup on candy making is kind of terrible. So that's a really nice thing to get to for somebody uh, who loves to make candy. So let's move on then to home brewers. Hop heads. You know them, they're always talking about their brew, they're always working out, they're always planning out their next brew. Now, there's all sorts of, there's, there's a range of people who do this, from people who buy malt syrup and just add a little yeast and call it good, to people who are malting their own grains, who are, 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 are toasting them and doing everything themselves. Uh, and there's a wide range of, of needs in there, but all of them, no matter who they are, need, uh, need our tools. One of the tools that they really need is a pH meter. If you buy a pH meter for a brewer, they'll be happy with you. Uh, pH is really important through all sorts of different uh, stages in the brewing process, uh, whether it's the wort or if you're making cider or if you're making wine or mead. Uh, for consistency and for reproducibility, you really need to control the pH and know what the pH is because it's gonna affect how your acid lives and works. It's gonna affect how the final taste comes out. It's gonna affect lots of things. So a pH meter, we have them, this is a really handy pocket variety. We have them from this all the way up to lab grade ones that have kind of like a little probe attached to a box. Um, and those are accurate to 0.05 pH. 
So that's really, really accurate. These are, are plenty accurate for most uh, brewers and they're not terribly expensive. So a pH meter is a great thing for a home brewer. Um, the chef alarm, we've already talked about some, but the chef alarm is really great for the home brewer. Uh, throughout the range and the process of brewing, there's narrow margins of, of temperature that want to be maintained for a long time. Uh, whether you're steeping the wort or something like that, you need to, to, to keep an eye on what that temperature is actually doing. And uh, with the high and low, the min and max functions on this, you can really do that. And again, I've talked about how it has uh, interchangeable probes. One of the probes that you might want to consider for a brewer is this. This is a 12 inch probe. There's a, just a dozen uses for these in home brewing. Uh, keeping temperature in a carboy, uh, checking the temperature in a keg before you carbonate, all sorts of things. If you buy uh, this for a brewer, you'll get a smile in return, I, I guarantee it, uh, as long as they have something to plug it into. So get them a chef alarm and one of these maybe. Uh, and finally, uh, the, the Mark IV is gonna surface here again. No matter what stage you're at in the brewing, whether it's the sparge or it's the mash out or anything like that, knowing what the temperature is right now is really important. Uh, if you overshoot that temperature uh, at any given time, you might kill the yeast. You might extract too much flavor, not enough flavor, something like that. Uh, so take the temperature right now with the Thermapen MK4 and that'll be great. So let's move on to bakers. Bakers are kind of a picky lot. They choose their yeasts, they choose their flours, they like mail order esoteric flours from across the country or across the globe. They capture yeasts on their own with grape leaves and stuff like that. And they make their own steam chambers in their ovens. They're finicky and they demand perfection. Baking and, and, and bread making is one of the most scientific operations in, that people do in many kitchens. Uh, it's people measure things down to the gram and they demand that kind of accuracy and so they really want that. Uh, the, the Mark IV is going to give them that when it comes to water temps for yeast activation. A couple of degrees makes a huge difference. Uh, you can kill the yeast on accident, you can underpower the yeast which makes it taste funky, uh, you can overpower the yeast which makes it weak. Uh, so keeping track of the temperatures with that is great. Also for proofing, just anything that involves yeast metabolism, you're going to want to check that with a Thermapen Mark IV. Uh, the Chef Alarm, again, uh, for rising, for proofing bread, for bulk fermentation and things like that, super useful. You can keep an eye on it. But also this is great for checking bread doneness. And follow me here. You can actually put a probe in this and once your bread has done its oven spring, you can put the probe in the bread and you can set an alarm for 190 to 200 degrees for some breads. Other breads, uh, the temperature di differs. It's always around that same temperature. Um, and it will go off when the bread's done. No more thumping the bottom of the loaf like they did in the Bronze Age to tell if bread was done. We have actual tools now that can actually tell us that. And so bread doneness temp is something you have access to if you use a chef alarm. So there's that. Also, going back to the time stack, if you're doing more than one kind of bread or if you're doing multiple batches of bread or something like that, you can set one to knead the bread, you can set one to uh, 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 turn the bread in the oven, anything like that. Uh, there's lots of different things uh, and you can record it to say, knead the bread, turn the oven, something like that. So four channels allows you to carry on with a lot of work at the same time. So that's something to really, really consider for the baker. Now let's talk about the modernist cuisine uh, fan slash gadget geek. These are very closely related uh, fields or, or interests. They share an interest in innovation, precision, style, and utility, and they're really into the neatest thing. Um, those who are into modernist cuisine, you know them, they have a sous vide bath, they might have like a, a high powered dehydrator or something like that. They've got a stash of weird chemicals in their closet that you don't dare touch. That's the modernist cuisine. Um, they need some of these tools in particular, but then there's also the gadget geek. And you know this kind of person, they're obsessed with which springs are in their keyboard, or they have the tool five years before you ever hear about the tool, things like that. Those people, they're all kind of in one group and we have some great things for them. So first is this, this is tape. It's, it's waterproof tape though. So if you read the source literature on sous vide, there are people who really talk about it. Nathan Mirvold, for instance, 
A lot of people think that you, for sous vide, you can just put something in the bag and throw it in there and you don't have to worry about the interim temperature, but that's not true. You need the material. Um, you want to take the temperature of something that's doing sous vide and this is the way to do it. This actually forms a watertight bond uh, at the surface of it. So you can put this on the bag and stick a thermometer through this tape into the bag, into the food, just so you can keep track of the temperature. And you can get even better results that way than if you just throw it in there and kind of walk away from it. So that's really great. And that actually brings up waterproof uh, 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 probes. This is our waterproof needle probe. This is really neat. You can throw this into a sink full of something. You can throw it into a boiling pot. It's gonna keep track of the temperature without any difficulty. It's completely sealed on this end, so you, it can handle that kind of uh, environment. It's the only one of our probes, uh, uh, of the Pro Series probes, that is waterproof. Don't do that with any of the other probes. It might, might leak in and, and cause some damage. So that's really great. That's a really fun tool for anyone who does sous vide. Uh, we can talk, though, again, about uh, pH. There are certain foams, there are certain sauces, there are certain weird jellies uh, that modernist cuisine people make, that modernist chefs make, uh, that are pH dependent. And if you have the pH off by too much, they won't set, they won't work. The color's gonna come out strange. So that's something that's really useful for someone who's into modernist cuisine. And it's great for the gadget uh, uh, geek because they're gonna take this and they're gonna walk around their kitchen and they're going to take the pH of every liquid that they can get their hands on. Uh, that's gonna be hours of enjoyment for them and I'm sure you'll get to hear about what pH the Wesson oil is later, which might be fun for you, I don't know. Um, another thing that's great for, uh, uh, all of the, for both of those categories um, is the ThermoQ. Now, I say the ThermoQ because, again, this has got thermocouples accurate to, point zero, to 0 0.7 degrees Fahrenheit, and that's just a lot of information that you can get. Now, this is also available in a Wi-Fi and a Bluetooth version, and with those versions, you can connect it to the app and you can actually get downloadable graphs and data tables from that. So not only can they cook their food, but they can then make a spreadsheet about their food. And I know that if you know someone who, who, who is into that, you're saying, oh yes, that's perfect for him right now. Uh, we do have a variety of interesting probes for that. This is our, our high temp ceramic probe. This is safe up to 2200 degrees Fahrenheit. This can handle just about anything. That's just a really fun tool if you have somebody who does, a, who has like a stone oven or is doing any other high temperature work. Anyone who's a gadget geek is really gonna get a kick out of that to use with the ThermoQ. So that's one thing for them. So that's our ThermalWorks gift guide. Thank you for watching and I hope that you found some inspiration and some ideas about what to get for your loved ones. If you have any further questions, feel free to contact our customer care department. Uh, they stand ready to talk to you about these things and I hope that you have uh, happy shopping.